Hello and welcome to my thought for the day. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. That's the good news of this morning. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans 8, 1. There's nothing to fear. If you've brought, been brought up with the idea that there will come a judgment day when you will stand before God and uh, you will have to account for every word that you've said, you won't have to do any of that. You would if you were living your life under the, the law, if you were trying to win salvation by the law. Jesus has dealt with all of it. Yes, there is a situation promised where rewards will be handed out when we will know whether the things that we've done merit any any reward. The things that we thought we were doing for Christ will be measured. But it will not be about condemnation. It will be about celebrating achievement. And that's quite different. We don't face condemnation. The condemnation we faced has been laid on Jesus and he has carried it all for us. And we don't have to fear. We don't have to imagine ourselves standing outside the headmaster's study, waiting to be taken in and told we're going to be suspended or we're going to have our knuckles wrapped or we're going to get the cane. Gosh, those were the days. <laughs> it's not like that. It's not like that, you know. The sin, the sin that we commit, it does earn a price. It does earn a wage. But that wage has been paid on Jesus. And we don't face it. So listen to that verse again. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. This whole universe works on laws and rules and our scientists have all discovered what the basic rules are for life. I mean, we can't escape gravity. It exists. We can't accept, escape, escape uh, air pressure. That's where storms come from, when the pressure drops suddenly and then there's a wind. All these laws that rule our world. But there are laws that God has set in place for the spiritual world, for eternity. And those laws will apply and do apply. And there's the law of sin and death, which is linked in with rules and regulations and religiosity and uh, that sort of thing. Believing that we have to do something to please God all the time, otherwise he's not going to listen to us, he's not going to answer our prayers, he's not going to be there when we need him to be. No, all of that has been swapped for a relationship. And the new law that is in place is the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. So the spirit alive in us, the spirit of Jesus that came into our lives when we invited him in, when we turned to him in faith, when we realised we couldn't save ourselves and we turned to him and we asked him to save us. We believed the, th the truths in this book, in this wonderful book. And we became spiritual beings, born of the spirit, born from above. We are now under a new law and that this new law has done what man, even the best of men, even the, the, the most faithful, the most, the most strict Pharisee that Paul was, he knew he could not satisfy the law. He was still a sinner. He could not meet the standard 
that was laid in the law, no matter how hard he tried. And he knew, and he says in verse 3 here, God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do, sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin he condemned sin in the flesh, in order that the just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. So, God did what the law could not do. God did what we could not do. God has done what we cannot do. God has met the requirements of the law, satisfied the requirements of the law, served the sentence, if you like, required by the law. And therefore, now, there's no condemnation but us because the law has been satisfied by Jesus. And we're not tied to it. We are free. We are free with the most amazing freedom and we will not be condemned. And because we've received so much, we don't need, we don't need to feel guilty about anything that we've ever done because the punishment for it is always is already satisfied in Jesus. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So, having started afresh, we want to live holy. We don't want to satisfy the flesh. We want to live for Jesus. We want to show other people that it's possible to be different. It's possible to live free from guilt, free from anxiety, free from fear, free from condemnation. Romans 8, 1 to 3. Have a great day. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.